My conception about the mind is that of an adaptive toolbox. That may be a personal adaptive toolbox or an expert's adaptive toolbox, or also a sort of cultural thing. So. And an adaptive toolbox consists of the evolved capacities a mind has, like the ability to, um, to memorize, so recognition memory, recall memory, tracking, to keep track of others, you know, social abilities such as imitation. And it consists of uh, building blocks for heuristics and then of entire heuristics to use. They can be composed. A very simple, well-known example is tit for tat. And tit for tat has a few building blocks. So you cooperate first and then you imitate the other person, whatever she does. That's something simple. But you need some machinery in your mind that allows you this kind of precise imitation. We know from a number of studies that human children are those one who imitate most precise and also most general. That's not in our closest relatives, the primates. So that's what I think of the adaptive toolbox. It's a different vision about explaining decision-making than trait psychology, where I think you have some traits or you have some attitudes and that somehow they, they directly uh, lead to behavior. The adaptive toolbox is adaptive in the sense that the heuristics work depending on the environment and they also one tries to select them in a way. That's a very different conception. So behavior is always contingent on the environment. And that can lead to apparent inconsistencies in behavior. So if teenagers typically are dependent on others more than before in their lives and later, mm. so if they go by imitate my peer group, mm. that can lead to wonderful behavior. Everyone helps yeah, others, yeah? but it also can lead to the worst behavior, depending on what group the person is in it. So from a heuristic point of view, it is predictable, it, it's co totally consistent that people are inconsistent mm. or look bad and good, but also you know what to do. Uh. It's not your son's fault alone uh, that he is doing these bad things now. Uh. It's the environment. He may just imitate to be accepted. So that's the concept of an adaptive toolbox. Now the term adaptive also signals uh, an evolutionary uh, perspective. And it's certainly in the relationship between the environment and the mind. That's an important part of evolutionary theory. The entire concept of adaptation is one. And many theories in the social sciences are internalist. So you explain behavior by preferences, by attitudes, by traits, by the big five by a risk aversion traits or other things. Hmm? That's not my perspective. And I think there is not so much evidence that people are so independent from others and from the environment. Hmm? So it's an ecological perspective that gives you also a different perspective about morality. So it's not just the moral person that acts here, but it's also a moral or a less moral environment. Hmm? And you can change things from the outside as well as from the inside.